So bad, is it? Not the path I expected. Makes me wonder about a son, his brothers and sisters, still young, pure. You're worried. If they're still alive. I'm responsible for the future of every griffin alive. I want it to be a good one. These animals live to fight, but I wonder if there's another path for them. Mm. I'd like to think everyone can find a new path. Even griffins. Just wish I knew what it was. Doesn't every good parent? Parents. A scary word. I'm supposed to be his bodyguard. What do you think you've been doing this whole time? Trying to ignore it. If I get myself killed by a herlock, that's on me. If it's a son, I just don't want to mess it up. I think that's where trust comes in. That Turlem idea you keep talking about. Trust Asan to find his way. Don't force things. He's headstrong. <laughs> Good thing you are too. <laughs> right. Thanks for the chat. Cool. Alright, let's go chat with Demon Boy. the dragon class Got a job Girl. for me? I saw the Hivernal flying by with my own eyes, big as the sky, and ready for the lords to come be heroes. We take it down, and the village nearby will eat like kings and love us for it. It had bright red and blue scales that'll be worth a fortune even beyond the horde. That's not a Hivernal. You saw a Colton's on. And she's acting normal. She's not one of the dragons blighted by the gods. Going after her would get us killed for no good reason. Yep. I'm gonna have to side with the Lords of Fortune's resident dragon expert. You sure you're not just scared, Tosh? Fight it if you want. Tell us where to send your stuff after it kills you. Aw, oh, sorry, Cutter. Tosh gets final say. We leave the Carlton's on alone. You think I can't fight a dragon just because I don't breathe fire? You can't fight a dragon because you don't know what you're doing. Fine. You're the expert. Oof. Well, that was awkward. Not for me. There's rumors of another dragon off to the west. Heard anything, Tosh? Yeah. Not sure if it's blighted like the ones that attacked Minrathus and Treviso. But it's killing people in villages near Arlathan Forest. They need help. Well, that's glory. It's a fire breather. They always have lairs with a horde. And there's gold. Tempted yet? We might be able to spare the time for a dragon hunt. Can't wait to see what you find. Now, has Tash told you about fighting a Gamadon Stormrider in the middle of a typhoon? Best time to catch him. Oh, it was glorious, Rook. 
Okay, so uh, we're gonna fight an actual dragon. Nope, not fighting that shithead right now. Oh, they completely read this place. Nice. Everything's calm. Looks like the candles worked. I see some of my colleagues have begun the renewal of the vows. Ah, this door. Thank you again for coming. My duties include tending to these rites of remembrance. <laughs> Excellent. Manfred found his way down. A very good, Manfred. Good job, Manfred. Sounds excited. I thought we'd start the rites here. A tableau of the dead, commissioned 173 years ago. These lives were flickers against the ages. Precious, fragile, and finite. Now they serve as a warning. Don't linger over long in the gloom. Live with grace and fervor while you may. So a lesson, I suppose? No one's going to seize the day for you. Just so. That one's livelier. Here. Who were you when you breathed above? This body the tailors, a mother's. She laughed and taught and wove the robes kings wore when they were crowned. Someone must realign her thoracic vertebrae. I hope the novices are inspecting the displays. Seems disrespectful to abandon something you built. Precisely. No wonder there's been an uptick in hauntings. Wait, what? Let's continue. Okay. He said that way too casually. So, what now? We light candles in remembrance of the dead. And we loot. In remembrance of the dead, naturally. Would you care to light the candle, Rook? Look at this. The last tomb of the Tannhausens. A very influential family in the Storm Age. We broke the bones of dragons. A posthumous motto. Their last heir met his match against a Highland Ravager. Death by dragon. Surprised there was enough to bury. Extra quispy. Do you know, I never expected that the door we found back in the vault of the Beloved would lead here. So, the necropolis actually shuffles its rooms around? From time to time. Very unlikely to happen while we're inside a chamber. You said unlikely, not possible. Aha! One of my favorite flowers! A variegated weeping widower. You know your plants? Ah, uh, alchemy is my hobby. It's a break from teaching spirit calling and theoretical applied metaphysics. Mm, right. mm, naturally. Just on the side. This way, Rook. You're right about the gardens being peaceful. The necropolis has its dangers. But Manfred. Examining the graves. <laughs> mm. You'll need to light these candles as well. I assumed as much, mate. Open your hearts to the final day, companion of all the ages. 
I was pleasantly surprised by your respect for our undead tableau earlier, Rook. I'm beginning to think people outside Navarra find the necropolis a little unnerving. The Grey Wardens have some unusual traditions, too. The spirits gather. Only a few more candles. Follow me. Ah, look here. Some little guy. Hi. Should I say hi? It's curious about you. We're also enjoying the gardens, but we've one last ritual ahead. On your way, my friend. Spirits really are your specialty. I've always had a rapport with them. Even as a child, they were my companions. After you started training here? After I was orphaned. Oh. Okay. Oh. A collapsed building, swift deaths. After the funeral, the watchers took me in. Belated condolences, if that's worth anything. Always. We move on, as we must, but those long nights linger about the shadows. How did you deal with it? I didn't. When I first arrived here, I was terrified. And you still joined the Watchers? They're what saved me. Fair enough, mate. Come, the next set of graves lies ahead. Please, light the next candles, if you would. There's much to recommend about the rhythm of a ceremony. It eases our worst hours. As a boy, the Watcher's rituals were exactly what I needed to steady my days with purpose. And some death magic? Well, every young mage needs a speciality. Uh, I guess. All this pageantry, this magnificent gloom and its rites. I ask you, Rook, what is it for? It's gotta be the living. What right? is it good yes, for? Yes, exactly, exactly. This place is an abundance of history, of magic, of memories. The Watchers preserve it so the living may draw comfort from those who've gone before. We must get to the candle, please, Manfred. You told Harding that Manfred used to be a wisp until you gave him a body. Yes, he's taken so well to it, haven't you, Manfred? I'm gonna do. <laughs> Love that guy. Here are the last candles you'll need to light. Once you're ready, we'll need to ring the bell. Ring the bell tolls. Good. Let the rights be acknowledged. Our bonds seen and sealed. We honor the listening spirits. Oh. Hello there. Hail from the abyss. We witness, good watcher, faith kept in all our hearts. What was... The necropolis hosts many spirits. We thank these guardians for their protection and friendship. We'll need to ring the bell once more to close out the departing ceremony. So you were really afraid of this place as a child? It wasn't the necropolis itself, but what was draped around it. 
Have you ever been frightened by the thought of dying, Rook? Mm. Hasn't everyone from time to time? When I was younger, it happened more often than that. That's when I discovered I possess a great terror of dying. It goes beyond dread. Can't be reasoned with. Or soothed over. It comes without warning. In the dead of night. Sunlit streets. A roar. Strangling fear. Struck somewhere deep past the heart. That's an issue for a necromancer. Oddly, I discovered I wasn't alone. I debated this fear with friends. I argued with Tea time. Teachers. Yet, it lingered. Manfred's right. That's maudlin enough. There are struggles, but a watcher should always find peace amongst the graves. And what sort of host would I be if we didn't end with some light refreshment? Well, if Manfred's excited, how can I refuse? <laughs> Cheers, Manfred. Okay, let's loot this place. Mothers of Massacre was a bit much for me. Really? I thought you'd be used to gruesome. In real life, there's a chance to bring dignity to the dead and comfort to their family. Also, these novels grasp of anatomy. A half spirit. A goat man might have three hearts. Oh, there are several bells. Know where you go, mate. Where do you go, friend?
Does he go back over here, maybe? No, he doesn't go that way. Hmm. I'll have a look at that in a second. mist isn't a wine it's magically infused vapors captured near tombs where spirits dwell i don't partake myself but it's supposedly quite invigorating drugs Let's try this again. Oh, not only do I have to put it in the... Right, okay. Right. Crossbone dark before the dawn. The S is next. Find the sense above. Looks like an S. I don't know if that is the case. It has to go in that descending order. Okay. Oh, do you fly to the next one? 
You do. That's awfully convenient. something. Still don't know where that... Oh. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Didn't even see there was a path down. But I would have spotted it if I just looked at the minimap. thing buddy ah this one keeps its memories yet so many rooms what's following what are you stay away they're gone house is safe Okay. Give that to her. Increased healing. Get rid of his cooldown on him. What kind of weapon am I using currently? So it's an axe. Okay. So I could apply bleeding as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm pretty sure we gotta just go to Dogtown and do this. Progress main story. You pressed the wrong buttons. Um, actually gonna quickly grab a drink as we load into this place. BRB, one second.
Okay. Did you hear? Mars mystery. Why did Morgan want to meet in Man